Hi guys, my name is April Nicole. I'm here to do your Aries 2019 June reading. I probably said that backwards, but June 2019 reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so I tried to do this video a million times, like literally a million times, and I feel like that's a message. I feel like Aries just keeps going over and over and over, trying to do the same thing over and over again. And I know because I'm an Aries Mars. And you just feel like you have to keep going and going. And you just, it's like it's never perfect enough. You just feel like you just have to have everything perfect. The perfect man, the perfect situation. Like, you just feel like everything has to be good. And if it's not good enough, you just throw it away. Um, but I definitely think that. Sometimes it's worth keep trying because it may seem exhausting like this video, but you might actually find something that is worth investing in after trying and trying and trying again. Who knows? You might actually be productive the last time around, but you won't know until you actually try. Um, but anyways, um, let's go into this reading. The Seven of Pentacles is a pre-shuffle because I've already done this a million times. Um... I think this message is important to someone out there. The Seven of Pentacles is basically someone who's trying to invest. Someone who feels like they need to put the energy, the time in, and they want whatever comes from whatever harvest this is. This person is dried up. They've given a lot to a lot of people, and they just feel like, where's where is the harvest? Like, where is the benefit? I've been putting in a lot, and I'm just not getting what I need. See, this person, they have barrenness. They have the pentacles to make whatever they want a success, but they're just unsure because they've invested in so much. If this is going to be the reality, some of you guys have put your energy into relationships or marriages, and you're just like, where is the harvest? For Arians, you know, this month you might ask, where is the harvest? I'm putting in the time and the effort. Where is my growth? You know? And some of you nine of pentacles reverse. Some of you guys are alone. You guys might have a whole bunch of money or a lot of accomplishments that you built your life on as a young person trying to establish yourself. And you feel alone in those relationships in which you try to build and you still end up lonely. And that's not good. Because you're not making yourself happy. You're not happy. This person is taking pictures, enjoying their wealth. They're not lonely. They're just alone. But you are lonely and alone. This nine of pentacles here, you should be going out. You know, and you, you will. But for the most part, you are lonely. Some of you people, this is a different application. It may not apply to you. Some people are, you know, they're tired of being someone else's dependent. You know, I want to invest. And I want to go out and get my own. Four of Cups is about going out and getting their own. You're tired of, and depending on someone else's picture-perfect life, you want your own. And you know it's going to take a while to build. Some of you people just depend on people. And you're looking like, where's mine? And you're unhappy behind all of that. You know? And you want to get out and get your own. You want your own stability in Three of Wands. You want that accomplishment, that, that, that glory, saying, I've made it, look at me. You know, you want that Ace of Cups, that Ace of Cups emotional renewal that you've done it yourself and you came up out of that Nine of Pentacles lifestyle. And for those of you who are single, you're tired of investing in tired ass relationships and coming up single. This is not ideal for you to have all these pentacles and all these accomplishments and not one thing in your life that you truly enjoy, that you want. So badly, not come to rest. So you go out and get it. That's the only way you're going to get it is going out and getting it. You want to go out and get it in Three of Wands. It's out there. That ideal relationship that you're looking for is out there. The, the Three of Wands, it's damn near Four of Wands, a commitment. All you have to do is stand out there and say, you know what? I'm taking assertion. This is a person who's taking the reins and they are ready. And they know that they're ready for a commitment because they're putting forth the energy and the effort. And then this Ace of Cups is what they're going to receive. 
So some of you Aries people will be in a relationship by the end of this month. At the end of June, you should be straight. Some of you guys are going to be good. Real good. You already have the money. You already have your life set up. You're just putting in the energy and effort trying to get those, those seeds planted here. You want something different here. You're tired of being alone. You want something else. You feel like you don't deserve the money. You rather trade the money in for something else. For this and this. You want something else. Some of you are tired of chasing the money. You want to go out and get something else. You're tired of being bored in that crib. You want something exciting. Let's see here. We're gonna oh we're gonna down. We're gonna look into these cards real quick. I have another deck here. Uh, I'm gonna check my Letterman deck. I love this deck. This is my favorite deck, Letterman. This is also my favorite deck of Tarot. Um, here. So what messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for June 2019 for Seven Pentacles? What are they trying to build, the Aries here? What are you trying to build, this Aries? What are you trying to build? What are you trying to build? What is you trying to build this June? This June, what is the build? Okay. Woo! You are looking out for self. You are trying to build something for self. The fox is about self. It's not always deception. This person is looking out for self. They care about self. They want to make sure that they're taken care of. They're tired of investing in people that don't give them what they are looking for. So they are going to make sure that numero uno is okay. And they're looking for the investment. Bringing you work hard in seven of pentacles. And what do you want? The bacon. You want the bacon. You putting in the work. And where is the fucking bacon? It's right here. The bacon. Okay. So some of you guys are definitely working hard to get the bacon. Um, let's look here. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why are you guys alone? Why are you guys dependent on other people? What is the Nine of Pentacles? Can you define? Can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles? Let's see. You guys are looking for someone to share a home with. Someone to be someone with. This is a home card. This is about a person who is looking to share their life with someone. They want to be comfortable in something. What do you want to be comfortable in? What do you want to be comfortable in? What are you looking to be comfortable in? What are you trying to be comfortable in, Aries? Sharing your home with someone. Let's look. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we trying to be comfortable in? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, comfortable in a relationship, a hookup, or something that drives you. Aries is always going for the next thing that motivates them and drives them. And honey child, we see it right here. The Cupid is the arrow. They are looking to be successful in love. I'm sorry, guys. I have, like, um, my daughter's bathroom. Her bathroom is fucking amazing. And so, like, it's the only quiet place in the house. I got a bunch of kids. So, like, they're really loud back there. So, I'm back here. So, if you hear that, don't be afraid. It's like the water. Okay, so back to the reading. I apologize. They're looking to be lucky in love. So, you guys are looking to be comfortable at being successful in love. You're tired of being alone. You're tired of having that boring ass you know, unstable or, or lonely life and nine of pentacles. So you're looking to be comfortable in the dating life. And that makes so much sense because four cups is about going out and getting it. You're going out and getting that life. You're going out and getting what you want and desire. You're tired of being alone and you want to be comfortable and you want to be successful in dating. And that's okay, you know? It's okay to want to be successful in dating. It's okay to want to be successful and seen or be comfortable in a dating world. Maybe you guys have had a dried up situation in your dating life and nine of and seven of pentacles. And you feel like you just don't you're not seen. Nobody sees you, nobody hears you, you know? And so you just want to be seen. Let's see. What's four of cups around? What's four of cups? Can you tell me what four of cups is? You guys just want to be seen and looked at. Uh oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, you guys want some sexy time. Maybe you guys have problems having sex. Maybe you guys have problems finding the perfect commitment 
as far as the sexuality. Some of you guys won't apply to every one of you, but maybe you guys just can't find the sexy partner you're looking for. Maybe you guys are having problems in the bedroom. Maybe you're having a time sexually connecting to people. If that's the case, that's why you're going out. I hope that's not the only connection you're looking for, Aries, you know. You know, I hope that ain't the only thing. Let's look at three of wands. Three of wands, can you try to find three of wands? Yeah, you guys want a sexual connection too. You don't want just the boring, okay, yeah, we got meant you want to turn it up a notch. That's why you lonely in the bedroom. You got all this money and all these things you're trying to build. You want you don't want the average everyday relationship. You want to build something. Okay, look at this. The moon. You intuitively know what you have to do to get this three of wands, this accomplishment, and achievement, and deserve. You know, you deserve this. You know how to get it. You, you're, some of you guys are accomplished. You're famous. The moon is also about being famous. Some of you guys are accomplished. You're well-known. You're, you're in a good place. You know, you are that person. And you're, you're well-known. You're seen. And you're tired of living this big facade of a life that you, that you obviously are living. Because this is the person who has got everything they want but in this picture, but they don't feel the way they feel. The way they're looked at. They don't feel that way, you know, and you know what you have to do to get this connection and you're looking for a sexual and romantic connection with someone. Ace of Cups, please. So what's the Ace of Cups about? Ace of Cups is love. So if it's just sexual connections or you're looking for more than just a mutual connection, what does Ace of Cups come in? Ace of Cups for Aries? Oh, oh so you guys want to go and meet someone? Maybe you guys found someone new. You you look at you run it. You run it. Hey, this is a train. You communicating with someone. This is like this person is sexy, gorgeous. I'm gonna send them a text. I'm gonna come meet with them. I found this person. I'm already accomplished. I got all this shit, and I pray, I pray, like here, that they that they'll be home or I'll be comfortable. I pray that I'm good in bed to them. I pray that I'm good in bed to them. Or I pray that I'm accomplished. But it definitely says you are. And it says here that you're willing to go leaps and bounds and message anyone to be in any relationship that's going to give you what you need emotionally. So what's stopping you? You're alone. You want to invest. You're going to go out. You're going to get it. Ace of Cups is a good, it's an emotional beginning, emotional renewal. You're going to get it. Okay? Don't even, don't even sweat it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Well, this has been our Aries reading. Uh, if you want a personal reading to see how this fits into your life, uh, sun, moon, and rise, if it applies, feel free to um, contact me. I have some information in the box below. Also, um, if you feel free to get an extended reading, I would love to do one. I would love to. Um, message me. Um, I'll give you the link because I have some private links that you can't see, but I can. And I, I've done them already, so I'll, you're more than welcome to check out the extended reading. Uh, if this reading applies to you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, comment your experiences. I don't really leave any negative comments. I really don't care. If you have something beneficial and productive to talk about, I definitely would love, love to hear about your updates. Um, you can also find me on um, Sister Girl Readings, um, not the website. I'll actually put the website down for now, and I'm actually working on it. So it will take me a little while, but I, trust me, I want to use that guy something better. Um, I'm actually on Facebook. Check me out, Sister Girl Readings. I'm on Facebook. I'm also on my personal Facebook wall, April Nicole. But you won't find me there as much. I usually do my business wall. My business wall is Nicole Collins. I'm also, um, I am April um, Nicole CEO and Miss April Nicole CEO. My email address is Miss April Nicole CEO at SisterGirlReadings.com. It's actually going to be in the description box. If you, I, I do a lot of deals. I'm very affordable. And if I say you want a reading, please get me in the beginning, in the early of the day. I like to spend most of my time with the kids at night, so I have four children, so I'm kind of like busy at night. So if you want a reading, I have no problem. I actually do video chat readings. They're actually inexpensive. You get a video chat reading for like less than $100, like really less than $100. Probably like like 60 or $50. Like it's really, really inexpensive. And it's pretty cool. We can sit here like we are now. Like if you're a real person sitting here, <laughs> you can actually get a reading from me and I'll definitely break everything down. But thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. And keep going out there and keep going for what's yours. Don't let nothing stop you. And it will be there. I promise you. Okay. Don't give up and don't give in. It's been a pleasure. Take care.